Hey guys, Dodgers Car Guy 32 back again. Uh, just got a few cards here from my PC that I'd like to show you guys. See what you guys think of them. They're pretty cool. Um, pretty unique to my PC. Some of my favorites that I've gotten in the past week. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of them now. Uh, Clayton Kershaw. Really nice shiny card. It's numbered 54 out of 199. Beautiful card. I love the design of this. Nice, clear, sharp relic. It's from the 2015 Topps Tribute set. I love Topps Tribute. Really sharp cards. Very, very sharp. Another one I really like, uh, set I like, is the Topps Inception set. They're thicker cards. Colorful. I like the colors. Uh, this one is a Tony Gonsolin. Numbered 87 and 99, which is a rookie card. But I really like how crisp those pictures turn out of them. Just absolutely beautiful cards. I like his uh, signature too, it's pretty unique. Not too bad for the cat loving baseball player. Beautiful card. Uh, I got a Caleb Ferguson rookie card. Good pitcher. On and off, but he's a good pitcher. I like him. Numbered at 84 to 99. Beautiful card here. Nice and shiny. One thing I do not like about Panini products is the fact that they take away all of the logos and names of the team. It's kind of frustrating. I get it, but it's kind of frustrating. Next up is a pretty cool one. Dustin May. Patch Auto. Rookie card. This one is numbered to 155. I like his signature as well. It's pretty unique. Um, but I do really, really enjoy the patches that they have for Inception. However, I uh, read up that a lot of these are not worn in games. They're just player worn, which means they probably just put the jersey on and then sold it. So that, that's kind of frustrating, but it's still, nonetheless, it's a really cool patch. It's a two-color patch. really like the colors in the background as well. Next up, one of my favorites is Matt Beattie. Number 54 of 75. This kid doesn't get enough credit. He had a hell of a year last year, in my opinion. And he stuck around for the whole season. Got brought up and stuck around the whole season. Um, I'm a big TTM guy as well, so I write a lot of players and sent Mr. Beatty a photograph of himself at his first at-bat, and he wrote a pretty cool inscription of first career at-bat, first career hit, and then he made it out to my family, which I really enjoy and appreciate as well. Seems like he's a really down-to-earth guy. Big fan of Matt Beatty. Perhaps my favorite, if I had to pick a favorite, Max Muncy. I love Max Muncy. Ever since uh, his game against the Giants when he told Bumgartner to go get the ball out of the ocean, he's been one of my favorites. He has a devastating home run ball. Just crushes it. And I love when he's walking to first base. Just drops the bat and starts walking, and I love that. You gotta have swagger to be in the big leagues, and Max has that very, very cool um, signatures as well. This is on the tops, high tech, really cool card. Not much value in these, but I uh, don't care about value. This is my PC, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy. And I also like these two, the Stadium Club cards. Beautiful pictures on them. Uh, you can see how happy he is there. That was in the World Series in the multiple overtimes. Very, very cool. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. I got a bunch of Dodgers stuff, so I'll keep sending videos and you guys let me know what you think. Thank you guys.